computer and all right miss valerie tell us about you ah pressure of being first <laughs> hi yeah and i can't see anybody else i wonder how i can change that so if you go up to your view you'll see four little boxes if you click i'm i'm on my iphone i've never done it from my iphone okay before. i don't know oh, okay there i get okay now i can see you guys hi everybody this is better than talking to a, a blank screen or myself. I'm Val Lemmings. I uh, live in a little town called Scotts Mills, 350 people. And uh, our nearby big city of Silverton, Oregon is where I chair a chicks group. And I have the, we're coming up on, actually I think it, we passed our one year anniversary. Wow. So just like last week. So super happy about that. I was at the first meeting. <laughs> yeah, you were. That first meeting was amazing, and I, I can't tell you how much I appreciated everybody coming out and supporting me. And it's just made me a believer in going to new groups <laughs> yeah. because it does help. Thank you, Robin. Great. All right, Miss Robin. So I'm Robin McKillop. I host or chair the um, Rebel Chicks Online Fridays <laughs> at noon. And uh, one of the reasons I'm on here today is I want to talk with people and get some advice because I'm not having very many shows. Okay. And part of it is my fault for not promoting. And that's, that's a big thing for 2018 is promote, promote, promote <coughs> everything I'm doing because I tend to sit back and wonder why people don't show up. It's because they don't know. <laughs> it, Julie, you could probably say that. It's a big effort always promoting. It, it yeah. is. Cause we have so much information coming at us, you know, all the time that, you know, we'll say, I want to do that. And then, you know, in five minutes, 10 more pieces of information have come in and it's <laughs> fallen away. That's right. That's right. That's why, you know, when, when I did the survey of um, chair chicks a while back, maybe two or three years ago, um, some of the things that they said were the most beneficial in building their chapters were um, consistency. So, okay when people can get it on their calendar that it's every Tuesday at four or whatever, you know, and then they can count on it on a weekly basis or twice a month or whenever. Um, they said that was one of the biggest factors and then having the reminder as well. So they'll schedule it, but then getting that reminder um, that it is coming up, that was also helpful to um, in, in the success that they said. Yeah. All right. Who else do we have with us? How about you, Pat? Good morning, I'm Pat Ferguson, I'm Boise, Idaho, and still relatively new to this chicks, but I'm really, really enjoying the two chapters that we have growing here. And uh, we, <laughs> that's where we are, is getting more people to show up. Last Tuesday night, we started one evening group, which just grew up, like quadrupled last week. We were amazed. But somebody had put something out on Facebook, and probably 11 ladies has found us on Facebook and they showed up and they were just delightful and we had so much energy going. So we hope that they're gonna be coming back again this evening. And so we're growing and I'm with you. It's just the consistency of keeping it out in front of people because a lot of people just don't want to go to high. So and that's just the things to keep growing here. Excellent, excellent. I'm gonna um, grab my headphones real quick. Um, Lynette, will you go next and, and I'll be uh, right back. Hi everyone, sorry I was a few minutes late um, dealing with a sick dog, but um, nice to meet you. I'm Lynette, I live in Arizona and I lead the Arizona Chicks Connect. And we've had a really great um, burst of new chapters um, launching with um, chicks that have been with me for a year and a half. So we have a nighttime chapter that's launched and we have um, today is the first meeting of our Arizona chicks with peeps. They're at the park right now. So I don't know what the turnout's going to be, but I'm excited for that. And um, I just found out a couple of days ago that two of our chicks, some of you might know Nancy Gretzinger. She's just so amazing. Nancy and Tracy Ng are going to um, start another East Valley chapter, but like 20 minutes away from where our chapter is. A lot of um, in Phoenix, there's, you know, the North Valley and the East Valley, South, whatever. Where we live is big, wide open, this area. It's not like the city. I mean, we're a small town, but um, so they're building, they're having a chapter that's like about 20 minutes away because a lot of our chicks now live over there. So it'll be more convenient to some of them. So um, I'm excited for that launch. But yeah, I love, love meeting new chicks. So um, I think I've met everyone on here except for you, Pat. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I missed it. I'm so sorry. 
I'm in Boise, Idaho. Oh, awesome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks. Great, great. Okay, Arlie. Yes, Arlie Sample from Sela, Washington. And I am trying to get something started here. I thought I had something going, but um, it kind of flopped out on me, and I'm just looking for some uh, new direction and some tips and tricks to get started. Um, I've decided to focus on uh, a demographic that I think has been kind of <clears throat> overlooked, but uh, it seems to be becoming a more popular mm. subject now, and that is uh, women who have aged, um, and their needs in particular. Yay! <laughs> rah, rah! Us old women. Younger women have all kinds of resources <laughs> and their youth and all kinds of things. <laughs> you know, the, to fall, to, whereas we are a different ilk. And so I've decided that I'm going to <laughs> focus my Chicks Connect group towards uh, that type of person, now, that woman. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, Christina. I am from Bend, Oregon, the Bend Frisky Chicks. What else was I supposed to say? I was having some issues with my audio when I first jumped on. Oh, just tell us about you. Oh, um, I'm a sexual health educator in Central Oregon, and I've been running this chapter for about a year and a half now. And uh, I, I would love to share some tips with you guys on how to keep a strong uh, group coming in regularly, because I, I definitely have a success with that. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. We'll, we'll go right back to you after we get everyone introduced. Perfect. Thank you, Christina. Uh, we have someone on the phone, a 407-446-4974, but I don't see your name. That's, I'm Nilda. Oh, Nilda. Nilda Hi, hon. Hey. I'm sorry. My voice is a little rough. I, I have a cold. Oh, yeah. We, we were just talking about that. Me, me too. <laughs> or mine's just getting over. So, so, Nilda, tell us about you. Well, uh, I am uh, a speaker and writer in Orlando, Florida, and I'm uh, working on starting a new chapter here. Um, the people that I've been uh, contacting have all been very active in redeveloping their businesses. So between that and the holidays, it's been uh, difficult to get people to meet in December, but we're all very excited to start in uh, January. So... Um, I'm hoping that a couple of new people that I met will uh, follow us you now and, and we'll be able to, to have a nice little group here. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, and is there anyone else that I missed <coughs> with the introductions that I can't see on my screen? Or did we get through to them? <laughs> the puppy dog, yeah. What's the puppy dog's name, Dr. Robin? We can't hear you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a, that's a bigger than a puppy that's a, <laughs> a big lap dog i forgot i muted myself because she oh. started to bark um oh. mika. mika mika yeah she mika. loves any zoom call she oh <laughs> always has to be right there front and center yeah well, well wonderful well you know i know one of the um one of the challenges that is common with a lot of the chair chicks just getting started or having been, there's another puppy, having been a chair chick for a while and relaunching um, uh, is, you know, how to get people there and get people to commit. So Christina, um, you said you had a lot of great ideas for that. So we would love to hear your ideas and then let's just start um, piggybacking on those. I know that uh, Lynette has a lot of great ideas as well. Um, so let's start with you, Christina. Sorry, I have a dog in my face too. And what's your dog's name? This is Duke. Duke. Duke's beautiful. Yeah. Um, so one thing that I like to do, um, especially, and I heard someone mention it earlier is that a Facebook event, um, uh, consistently. And one of the tricks with the Facebook event, if you guys don't know, is when you create the first one, duplicate it every time, um, because then it carries over your invites. So everyone who was previously invited will then be invited to the next one that's duplicated. Okay. Um, so that you don't have to go through and remember who, who did you invite. Um, 
and then um, just really checking in with them because I do have a lot of people that threw me off. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of people who, um, they, they just haven't been able to put it in their schedule yet. So that reminder all the time. Um, show us, show us where we do that. So this is an, this is an example of an event that's up right here. So where's the duplicate button? So back over to the, where it says edit and those three dots, Uh huh. click that and it says right duplicate. There. Yep. Okay. So we would duplicate the event and then and do what? Just change the date? Yep. And update any, um, title event name because what I do um, so my my meetings are on Wednesdays so on Tuesday I go edit the event name and add to the end that it's tomorrow because every time you edit the event name all of the invites get notified That's good to know. and then the morning of I edit it again that says today in capital letters which nice. I don't think you can do capital letters on um, the desktop sometimes because it will Facebook will, won't allow you to so I do it from my mobile device how many can you make Christina how many um, I just duplicate it after every event mm. oh. um, I know that if you have a business page you can create a reoccurring event <coughs> you, you want to do it from now until the end of January on the same time the same day it will mm create it for you and do a reoccurring. Mariah Clark does this, but you cannot change the location. So that's one thing um, I decided against that because sometimes our location does change. And the, the other thing that I wanna mention about the event is um, if you make it in your Chicks Connect members only group, only the members will be able to see it. So when you make your event, do it on your personal or like Christina said, on your fan page um, so that the whole world can see it, so that it's public. Um, because your chapter groups are just for the 10 or 15 women within your chapter and that will limit. People won't be able to share it. They won't be able to see the attachment. So anytime you want to be creating these events, do it on your own personal page and then everyone can share it that's friends with you. And um, ask your chapter members to invite people. Yeah. And yes. then, Jules, you mentioned before, like we have the Central Oregon Chicks Connect. Yes. I'm sure you on a group like that. Let's show that. Because I use that frequently. We also have um, Central Oregon Women in Business. So finding any kind of entrepreneur women group in your area to share your event to. So, so by the way, Facebook just changed their um, size of group graphics. So I have to go into all of these and change the graphic size or change the graphics in all of these groups um, because they, they, cha they change these, I don't know, like every, every four months or something for some reason. I really don't understand why. Um, but I'll get all these updated. And uh, so here, here's what Christine is talking about. So we made a group um, that's open to anyone based on a geographical uh, location. So Central Oregon Women Connect is open to all women of Central Oregon. And there's 184 members in here. So not only can she promote her um, business, you know, to this group, like anyone can, she can also promote her chick chapter meetings in this group. And because it's all based on um, geographic location, it's going to be people joining this group that are in this area. So we have Central Oregon Women Connect. We have our biggest one is Las Vegas Women Connect. And this one has, I started it first. Um, so it has the most women in it. But um, the Las Vegas chapter can now go to this group and invite them all the time to their chapter meeting. And so you can see, again, the graphic size change. But there's 763 members in this group. Wow. Um, yeah, so that's a big one. So um, we should be able to convert some of those, you know, 763 people into actual 
members of Chicks Connect. So yeah. that's the that's the idea that um, if you do not currently have a um, like we have Orlando Women Connect. We just started that Orlando Florida Women Connect. So there's not too many in here, but the idea would be that Nilda could go in here and invite all these women. Right now there's like 20 something, so she could personally invite them, 27, to her chapter meeting. Um, yeah, so Orlando Women Connect. So if you, where's that list? Um, it's Orlando Florida Women Connect. And, and where do I find that list? Uh, if you just search. Um, On Facebook? Yep, oh, this is fake. Oh, I'll add you to it. You're not in there yet. <clears throat> there you go. So now you're now you're in it. So um, oh, and there's our picture right there. <laughs> there we are. So, so anyway, um, if there's not a like, I think we have Phoenix Women Connect. Do we, Lynette? Do you know? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't use any other outside group. Um. But initially, didn't you post in? Well, not in a Chicks Connect group, no. We don't have a big, there's one, but I don't use it. I think that was started when um, someone else, Sydney, Sydney started that with you. No, I don't, I just, I'm just so overwhelmed with groups. I never did it. I didn't need to with my chapter, so. Right, but I mean, you posted your Facebook events in neighborhood groups, right? right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, not one Chicks Connect sponsored one. Like, this is your groups, right? Right, right. right but tell, yeah. us, tell us about what you did. Okay, because it is different, but this is awesome. We could probably do this as well. We just haven't done it. I just used already existing groups um, in my neighborhood, and some of them are women's group, but most of them are just neighborhood groups. Um, and I just posted and shared in there, and I don't really even do it any, anymore unless we're launching a new chapter or if we're in a re open enrollment and recruiting season because we've pretty much had a full group since we started. Um, but what I did, um, the same as Christina, I edited the group as well. But then I decided to take it a step further. So I edited because that does show everyone. But what I do in my events, especially in the beginning, I would post something every single day, inspirational, motivational, and so that everyone would see that too. And then they would see what we were about. And then after the events, I would still go back in the group and put a picture of the meeting that we had and um, – Thank everyone for coming. And then I would always say the same message. You know, we loved having you. And if you're ready to get yourself all official, here's the link to sign up. And then I would tell them the same phrase because all the magic happens in our private groups. And then that would encourage and inspire people to join us. So that's kind of one of my little marketing tricks that I used. Okay. So um, hmm. post, I'm just writing these down, post in neighborhood groups. Right. And that then already own, existed. Right, yeah, that's what um, I did. You know, saying, calling, you know, on women that were looking for a different type of networking group. Ours was based on love and fun and support and accountability because we are different than other networking groups. Um, you would also promote it on your own timeline. And then the other thing that Lynette does all the time that I encourage all of you to do is tag me. So you know how to do a, a post where you do the at sign and then the name? Um, because I, I have 5,000, you know, I'm maxed out at the 5,000 friends or whatever on my personal profile. But that way, anytime that you're um, doing something, I think just recently she's tagged me. Um, anytime that you, here we go, somewhere in here. That you have something chick-like, you know, out of my 5,000 friends, if they see something tagged from Idaho and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm in Idaho, I want to go be a part of that. So here, it, here's one right here. So um, see how she, so Lynette posted this on her own timeline, but she, she added two photos and then she tagged the people that are in the photos. But even though I'm not in the photo, she includes me and that way it shows up on my timeline. Right. And, and the reason I post it too is because this was not a chick event, but this is a brand new chick, Erica, and she just opened up her own online boutique and she was having an open house at her home for, for her friends and family. And of course she's so thoughtful. She invited the chicks and look how many chicks we just met her only two times showed up. Nine of them, I think showed up to support her open house. And I was so proud of them. So we took a picture um, together. And so that was kind of nice. That's that awesome. Everyone, yeah. Everyone wanted to come out and support her new business. So yeah. And then the other thing that happens is all of this 
dialogue that's happening on on my timeline other people can see and the reason why I'm finding this so interesting is because um, <clears throat> my sister who doesn't really know what I do is all of a sudden into Ooh. what I'm doing now like she's what? and she keeps like yeah she keeps <laughs> liking all of the Lynette posts how can she not like not know what you do it's so well, because amazing. well because this is just not in their okay. in their wheelhouse right you know okay, I mean it's gotcha. different yeah. it's different and anyway I don't know where the post was where she was liking it but all of a sudden I got this yeah. notification that my sister Thank was you. liking <laughs> the stuff that Lynette was posting and I was like Oh, okay. Well, this is this is getting out to people who are not part of the circle, right? Right. You know, yeah, so I, I think so many women are craving connections right now. Right. Right. So mm -hmm. yeah, but the cool thing about that is she just sent me a message and said, Hey, there's this girl new to town. She, maybe she wants to know about Chicks Connect. And I've been Aww. doing this seven years and she's never, <laughs> you know, but I think it's because she's seen the impact that right. you all are having Aww. on one another. And, it's never too um, late to be an ambassador for you. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and Pat, same thing in Idaho. You know, you gals do a wonderful job of posting the pictures. Um, so just encourage whoever's posting those pictures yeah. to tag me, and then they'll right. show up um, yeah. here as well. Then I can share them even to the Chicks Connect fan page. And so they'll be in that main feed. So so there's lots of different ways we can share this to get out there. The um, The things that I would encourage you to do with all of your posts or maybe hashtag your city. So chicks connect bend oh, good or idea. something. So, um, people so that people know yeah. where it's at. Yeah. yeah. Great. And then um, do include your tracking link, you know, your, your referral link, especially hopefully you all know that December, the whole month will be double the pay. So anyone that joins with you in December, that January check will be doubled. So, um, so that's kind of a cool thing for the whole month. We're doing that. I think that my, my fever is deciding to break right now. I'm feeling oh. very sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. So, um, so awesome. So post on the timeline, tag me, let's hashtag, uh, chicks connect plus your city. That's awesome. Chicks Connect Phoenix, Chicks Connect Boise, Chicks Connect Bend, you know, whatever you, um, uh, that'll be a good hashtag that we can start doing on all these posts. Um, you know, Facebook is still the best area for our demographic. You know, I mean, if you think, oh, I should go over to LinkedIn and spend time inviting people there, or I should go on Twitter and spend people, you know, the bulk of our connections um, are coming from Facebook. Now, if you have other ins on all these other social media networks um, that you think members would want to join you from that's great but um, it hasn't proven uh, okay it hasn't proven that that we get a lot from those means um, the, the bulk of our new members come from Facebook and come from the personal invites um, so yeah um, I'm having problems with people uh, disliking the, the name Chicks Connect. They don't feel they want to join a group of chicks. They want to join a group of women. And uh, I, I like the idea of having my chapter called Orlando Women, Florida Women's Connect. But if I hashtag Chicks Connect Orlando, that defeats the purpose. Well, well our, our brand is Chicks Connect. And yeah. so um, your name of your chapter is autonomous to the women within your chapter group, like Rebel Online Chicks. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's a group. The um, High Desert, that's another group. Um, Frisky Chicks. Uh, so so th that is, and I think Arlie's going with Platinum, uh, the Platinum Club. Um, so your name does not have to have the word chicks in it. Um, and if, if people in particular are having an issue with the name, um, we can all have a conversation, you know, I'm happy to have a conversation with them as to what it means to mm -hmm. me. Um, okay. and it, I've only had one person tell me they won't join because of the name. Maybe there are more. I um, had two people tell me that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's fine. 
um, maybe they aren't flexible enough to realize that, <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe they aren't going to be a good fit for our culture then. Mm-hmm. Um, so, okay. so that's okay. That's okay. Or if they want to talk to me about it, I'd love to hear what they don't like about it. Can, can you post a, a little blurb of, of what you say to answer this objection? Definitely. Definitely. Chill. We always like to say, some yeah. will, some won't, so what next? Yeah. yeah. They might not be the right people for your group, and that's okay, because there are a ton of people out there who are. Mm-hmm. And I like to share with Julie, not recently, but in the past, lots and lots of amazing, wonderful organizations that use the word chick, right, Julie? Yeah, I yeah. Love when I um, find huge, successful organizations that use chick, I go, see, see, see? I there it is. <laughs> 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 yeah, and you know, when, when, uh, when we started, it wasn't called Chicks Connect, it was called Chicks in Business, but I couldn't trademark that name. Um, and when we started, it wasn't going to be this. It was just one meeting with a bunch of women coming together. And I'm like, I want some chicks. And chicks to me are confident um, women that want to get stuff done, that aren't afraid to show up, that are sassy, that are bold, um, that are c- confident. Like that's a chick to me, not not right. whatever. I don't even know what the connotation is that people don't like. But to me, it's like, you're assertive, you're confident, you're bold, you're brave, and you're willing to get out there and get stuff done. So that's what, that's what a chick is. And so these chicks in business, we're going to meet together and help each other support our business so we could create a good old girls club to combat the good old boys club. Because I kept running into these circles where it was like men doing business with men, men doing business with men. And I'm like, where are all the women that can learn and support and grow and nurture and do business with one another? Not that I want to exclude men ever. I right. uh, right. love men, but we need to have a good old girls club where we have each other's backs and bring each, bring each other up into the world of business. Um, and I thought chicks could do that for one another. And that's so the yeah. hash, the hashtag, that's what chicks do. Um, that's what chicks do, you know? So it's like, and Nilda, when you were like, oh, you know, I'd love to come to the conference. I'm like, let me ask if, if anybody would open up their home and have an extra bed. And then like 10 minutes later, I'm like, yeah, there's someone that's willing to put you up in their home because hashtag that's what chicks do. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, that's what they do. They open their hearts and their homes and their love and their support and their inspiration and their talents and their gifts and their wisdom. And uh, that's, that's what I have seen. So anyway... Mm-hmm. Couldn't trademark chicks in business, thankfully, because Chicks Connect came as a result of that, and that's um, that's what we're all about. Chicks connecting. That was that was well said, Julie. I'm glad the women in business was was not available because I think connect is such an integral part of your vision and your mission. Because yeah. that's the to me that's the soul of it is the connections. That's what makes you different. And yeah. listen, the boss babe didn't have any trouble, you know, having millions of followers with her boss babes. Um, name and title and she even trademarked the hashtag boss babes so i don't know i'd rather be called a chick than a babe i guess I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well and then then the little you know the little chickens um yeah. those the little peeps and the chicks and the little yeah. icon with the little birds and stuff that kind of became part of it as well <laughs> what, um, what i meant about the babe though is i don't mind when someone calls me a chick i don't mind if a woman calls me a babe but nobody likes it when a man calls hey babe you know yeah that's yeah kind of, kind of derogatory yeah. so that was just kidding though i love boss babes mm-hmm. uh-huh. she's got the best memes awesome okay so other great ideas about how to build your chapter so who else wants to share well, I'll just piggyback on it. Was it you, Christina, that said or someone earlier? I truly believe that consistency is the most important thing. You can't just start and stop, start and stop. And you can't just have a meeting on Tuesday, then on Wednesday, then have one in two weeks on a Thursday. They have to know that the Arizona Chicks Connect meet every single Thursday at 10 o'clock, whether it's at Panera, IHOP, or Ann's Dance Studio. And once a month, we have a night meeting so that we can eat dinner together. <laughs> so they have to know because once it's consistent, they, they expect it, they plan on it, they depend on it. And I also always tell everyone, um, listen, even, you know, sometimes people don't feel like going, you know, they don't prioritize it, but sometimes you need the meeting, but sometimes the meeting needs you. Yeah. So you have to be consistent in your attendance and as well. And I think that's why our meetings have always been, you know, since launching been, you know, 
well received and had a lot of people there because I let them know we depend on you to be there too. You know, it's a group. So I think consistency is the key. I really do. And I, I know from, you know, having seen your posts and stuff, Lynette, when people miss your meetings, they're, oh, they're, they're so sad. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, Lord. So it's, so making it something because that I always people post don't a really miss. well. What I, and what I like to do after the meetings, by the way, is I like to yes, I like to post the picture and share, but I do it for a reason too. I kind of share a little of the content. I say a little bit of Julie's activity, and sometimes I even say, "Julie, thank you for these amazing activities that you pour your heart and soul into." And sometimes I just say, "Wow, we we were talking leadership. Wow, we were talking marketing. We were talking whatever it is, just to give them a little taste of it." Because I can tell you right now. And also, if I do something on my own that piggybacks on Julie's activity, like, wow, Julie's activity was so amazing, and I shared my eight holiday tips, I guarantee you, then someone will send me, well, what are they? Could you share them with me? And I go, sure. Okay. They're in our private Facebook group. Let me send you my link if you want to join our <laughs> group, or you know, if you come next week, I'll give it to you a hard copy. So I'm like, I'm really good at incentivizing people. She is so want- good with that carrot. She is so good with that carrot. Like, like, oh, sure, you can in our private group. Come, yeah, in our private right? group. In our private group. That's and here's where the magic the special, happens. Here's the special link to get to right. the private group. Well, yeah. that's what I try to do because I want them to see how amazing the Chicks Connect group is the organization what you've created julie i think every woman should be in a chapter or lead a chapter my whole intention with my chapter is i try to kick them out um i feel like they're your your chicks you know that metaphor that's the little nest and i want them to fly on their own and i think every woman if they want to should lead their own chapter so i'm always trying to inspire them to lead their own chapter so i showing them the pictures of how much fun we're having in the connections and authentic connections we're making and which leads to by the way organic you know, sales and business opportunities. That's the whole beauty of what Julie's created. So yeah, you got to entice them a little bit, you guys. So, so look well, what we're doing, you know? <laughs> right, right. And, you know, little things like this too. So do you all know how to take um, screenshots on your uh, phone? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the newsletter goes out. This one did not go out on Thursday because I was near deathbed, but it went out Saturday morning. Um, but you know, this was something that, that Jane did. So Jane Rowe right here. So Jane sent in a testimonial about chicks connect. Here's her. Um, it's weird. That doesn't look like a website, but maybe it is. Looks like an email too, but anyway, um, so here it is. Then she also put a little blurb in about uh, her beach house. Well, what she did is she just took a picture of this on her phone mm-hmm. and then posted it in her group and said, hey, look, I made it into the newsletter. Um, you know, so my point in saying that is anything you all want in the newsletter, I will put in the newsletter. So it's not like there's a big lineup to make it into the newsletter. So um taking this and posting it on your Facebook and say, Hey, look, I made the chicks connect newsletter. Somebody else might say, well, how do I get in the chicks connect newsletter? Oh, well, here's the special link that you can join and get in the chicks connect newsletter every week if you want to. Oh, Um, that's a great one. But but the the thing that I wanted to show you um, right here is the, the expert at enticing um, (laughs) has 21 referrals. Okay, so and a good chunk of these were during a double the payday. So her next check is going to be, you know, a lot of these will have double. Um, I would do it for free. (laughs) You're so awesome. You don't have to pay me. (laughs) So but but this this, so what she's saying is stuff that works is what I'm trying to say. And And I love what you're I love what evidence is here. Yeah. And I love what you're saying because, um, I do, I try to entice people that are already members. I've tried to entice my group, my chapter for a year and a half, get in the newsletter. Why aren't you the spotlight chick out of 21 people, three have done it. And this is what I tell them. You guys, once you're in the newsletter or you're on the website as the chick of the month or the spotlight chick, that's content that you can repurpose. You can use it on your blog. You can use it in your VIP group. If you have one, you can post it on your Facebook wall. Like I just said it to, to gather yourself to referrals to help your membership get paid. Um, you know, look, I'm so excited. And then I've even offered, and if it's, if you don't want to toot your own horn, I'm happy to post it and say, I'm so proud of Robin being the spotlight chick this week, or I'm so proud of her being shouted out in the newsletter of Chicks Connect. If you don't know about this amazing organization, ask her about it. You know, we've got a private Facebook group for women in business. So yeah, always repurpose this great content that Julie offers us. 
the, the other thing I wanted to make note of in here is all, all these new people. So a lot of you are big sisters. And um, if you're not and want to be, just let me know. Um, and if any of the members of your chapter want to be big sisters, let us know because it's a fun way to connect with someone that's typically outside of your chapter and sometimes even outside of your state. Um, and so we encourage you as well to then reach out to all these people via Facebook or uh, I guess probably that's the best way to try and find them within our members only group. Once they get introduced, you could send them a friend request and then send them a little message. Hey, I've been in Chicks Connect for a couple months or hey, I'm new as well. Or hey, I have a chapter that I'm running in Orlando. If you know anybody in the area, be sure to connect me with them. Um, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. all these become your warm network now. So, mm -hmm. so that is not only for me to tell you that, but when you're talking to other people about the benefits of Chicks Connect, um, all, I mean, th these are just over the last couple months that all these people um, are now, you could build a relationship with them because you have this common ground of Chicks Connect. And so when talking to people about joining something like Chicks Connect and they're like, well, why would I want to join something like that? Well, do you want to grow your business? Do you want to grow personally? Do you want to grow your friendships? Do you want to grow your connections? Would you like to meet people in other states? Um, these are all, you know, if we look right now, we're in, you know, Florida, Washington, Arizona, Idaho, uh, Oregon, you know, all on this call right now, you know, I mean, how cool is that, that, that you are all able to connect with one another and get to know each other so that after this, you could just quickly send each other a Facebook message and say, Hey, would you like to have tea uh, tomorrow at two, <laughs> you know, or something um, and, and get to know one another even more and then see how you can support each other outside of this. So I love that. And can I piggyback on that, Julie? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and what you just said about this, Zoom thing. Well, I met Teresa White on this Zoom thing a couple of weeks ago yep, or a month ago. Yep. And now she's in our magic private group and she doesn't live in Arizona, but she wanted to launch her own chapter. And my chicks have just taken her under their wing. They just love and adore her. We all lift up her lies. And she's not in our chapter, but we just, I met her on here and we just had an authentic connection and we just, we just love her. We just love her. She comes on my live Zooms and she's in our group in our private Arizona group and she's just a doll. I just love her. Yeah, she's so, part of Pat Pat's group up there oh, in Idaho. She is Pat? Yeah, oh, she's yeah, Pat, she's from we Idaho. Love your, well, we love your girl Teresa so much in Arizona. We just love her. <laughs> we like her a lot. Yeah. So, so I have a thought. Yeah. I love her. So I like to we were talking about incentivizing. Um, I like to offer my new members a gift. And um, normally it would it wouldn't be anything spectacular. It would be a cute little gift bag, but um, what about doing something along the lines of the chicks deals that we offer when we come in and, and even doing a little bit from each of our members of like the discount that they offer other chick members. Does that make Ooh, sense? Yeah, yeah. So, so I remember when I moved to Westland, Oregon, someone came to my house with a welcome wagon basket. And in that basket, there were all sorts of goodies and business cards for local people. What if each of you in your chapters put together a new member welcome basket with all with little samples and your business cards? So when a new member joins, they get this little basket of goodies that are all representative of your business. Then they would be, um, you know, you could use that as a, hey, join our chapter. Here's your welcome basket. So just like you're saying, Christina, something like that. Or if it's a discount coupon or... And then um, take a picture and tag yes. them. Okay. Yeah, that's a great idea, Christina. I love giving. That's awesome. I'm going to go back and do it for all of my members just because. <laughs> that is fun. Well, then let them all contribute. You can all exchange each yeah. other's. Do it for the first one for Christmas or something. Oh, that'd be fun. Now, um, yeah, then you can have, have a few of those on hand, Christina, for the members that join January at the Power Hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for the first five members that join tonight, you'll get our welcome basket right here today. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, you'll get to leave awesome. with the welcome basket or whatever. Yeah. Look at you two. That was an awesome partnership, you two. You just, we just whipped that right out. Whip, that was some good right out. There we that go. That was some good masterminding. <laughs> I'm like over here. Yeah. Power I'm like, yes, that's good. Yeah. So um, speaking awesome. of these power hours, so these are another way that you can grow your chapter. 
And the power hour format is a little bit different than a regular chapter meeting in that it's more of a networking meeting. So it may seem more like a traditional, something you've been to before. It's not kind of the dig deep and get real personal with one another. It's more business-like. Um, but typically the power hours, you'll have four or five minute speakers and they'll be able to display their stuff on a table, their, their products and services. Um, there'll be a charity focus and it's typically around a dinner or a brunch or something. And so you rent out a restaurant. But the cool thing about power hours is the goal is to invite in the public. So they get a little taste of Chicks Connect and four of your members get to display their products and services and give a little five minute spiel and you can do power hours as often as you want but typically um, anytime we hold a power hour we increase our membership so people come as guests and they're like oh i want to be a part of this this sounds great um, we have the whole template for you uh, you don't have to make anything up on your own um, or you can in infuse some of your own things if you want to but um, while we were at the beach we came up with a tentative schedule of different power hours um, and we'll just add to this list for anyone that wants to hold one. Um, the next one we have scheduled is January 4th um, in Bend and I'll actually be able to be with Christina at that one and then we'll do one on January 6th in Redmond. So uh, Janice wanted to do her own out there in Redmond at the coffee shop somewhere. So um, we'll do that on January 6th. Um, then we have our event coming up. Yeah, Lynette. I've never done one of those before. Um, I would like to do one too. Also, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you're talking about. But, um, when, but when you're in town as well, since we'll be promoting chicks. But how do you decide? You said just four people. are. Yes. How do you decide which four? Because I know all my chicks would want to do it. Yeah, so you might have to draw, it, draw from oh, a draw. hat. Okay, yeah. thank you. And, okay, um, thank you. and it doesn't have to be led by the chair chick, anyone can, anyone that's a member can facilitate a power hour. So they can do these all the time. Like, you know, um, anyone, anyone that's a member can do them. Um, and then you could rotate the, the four members, you know, so if they did it the first time, they, they don't get to do it the second time type thing and work everybody through the system. Have you done one before, Christina? Uh, no, but I, the first oh. time I ever went, to was to one that's where i met her at that's a power out oh yeah, yeah well that's a great out. testimony right there then Immediately. yeah it was a very yeah. emotional um amazing oh. experience awesome yeah and that and that was our more formal you know meeting type thing you know so yeah. i remember your name badge was upside down and <laughs> that's where I met that's you. how I get attention. That's how you get attention. Yep. yep. <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> um, so, and then always um, our Chicks Connect events. So we also gain members um, from the events. So even if you can't make it to an event, but you want to tell people about the event, um, and maybe they'll end up joining your chapter. You know, they'll come to the event and they'll be like, yeah, I want to go, I want to join a chapter. So right now, um, our tickets are on sale for members at 50% off. Um, and then if you do refer non-members, there's a $25 kickback to you as an affiliate um, for referring non-members and they pay the full price. Um, but the, all that information is in there. So, so that's something else to think about. Um, and the info is right down here for that. So the newsletter has a lot of information. Any of these things you can snap a photo of and repost it on Facebook, repost it um, on Instagram. You can do a little Facebook Live about any one of these things, um, you know, just as content if you're not knowing what to post on that day. Um, I encourage you as well to just look at the theme for the week. Like let's say you have a commitment to doing one Facebook live a week, but you're really nervous because you don't know what to talk about. Just, just take a look at the Chicks Connect uh, topic on the lesson and do a little reflection about what you did. That'll help you. Okay, that's worth the price of membership right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell my chicks that. Yeah, but, but not me. I don't do Facebook lives. Okay. I, <laughs> I forgot. Okay. So I do give my new chicks members that join a gift, but it's not a gift basket, which Christina is way much better, but I had these made so super cheap with one of our chicks made this logo for us with no charge, but I made these cute little mini spiral notebooks that have our Arizona chicks oh. connect logo on it. Oh, that's oh. awesome. I know. So you I gave me little, one of those. 
Yeah, so I give this to all of the new people and a bookmark from Julie from the Chicks Connect with the, you know, Creed on it. But I love Christina's ideas so much better. That's awesome. They feel welcome. Then they kind of, because I'll, I'll be honest with you, since we have a lot of members, a lot of times we have to spend a lot of time before each meeting reintroducing because somebody's new, somebody's new and not, they don't know each other. But what a great thing to go and they know what each person does. And so that's awesome, you guys. All right, other great ideas on how to grow your membership. Um, I do a lot of vendor shows. Um, and with the holidays this time of year, I always carry the bookmarks, the Chicks Connect bookmarks, and hand them out to all the vendors at the shows. Nice. Perfect. And do, I, you put, do you put a label on those or do you write on? I, yeah, no, I, I made labels. I don't like writing. <laughs> My handwriting sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I made little cards, too, that match that. And one of my chicks, just Paula, she's the only one that does lots of vendor shows. She made them, too, but she made postcards. Well, I made postcards, too, so she made postcards. Can you um, hold that, that uh -huh. so I can see a little bit better right there? Okay. So Paula, who's new in our chapter, she does tons of vendor events. So she made postcards. I have postcards, too, but I don't know where they're at. She um, did the same thing. And she's taking them and she puts them on her table at her vendor event. She does the nail thing. And she's been passing them out. So I love that. And she put her affiliate link on there um, and said, you know, what it's about. <laughs> she, she did a really good job. And so I think that's a great idea, Christina. Yeah, when you go to vendor, if you're, if you do, if you're that yeah. type of business in direct sales, that's a great way to promote the Chicks Connect. Those gals love connection and they would love to be a part of this group even if you're going as a guest exactly yeah that's what i do because i'm just a shopper i don't ever go to sell anything but i just like to go to those giant big boutiques that have all those amazing talented people and then the direct sales mamas i just love it so yeah pass them out there <coughs> poor sicky i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't talked this much in, in uh, the last few days. I know. Days. That's what I mean. The show must go on. You're opening up all your nasal yes. packages by all this talking. Um, but Aww. I. But speaking of Arizona, I am coming through. So I would love I to know. do it when I come through, and that okay. will be January, um, okay. like fifth, like sixteen, seventeen. Okay. January 16, right. 17. Yeah, we're going to do that because we've never done one before. I think it's time to try out something new. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. You know, well, then, I loved, we love doing the Power Hour in Silverton. Really, Valerie? Oh, okay, and yours awesome. was awesome. Oh, my gosh. Valerie, tell us about, about it. Tell, yeah. us about yeah. it. tell us about it. Yeah, because I, I saw it live on Facebook Live when we were doing the 24-hour chicken thon. Right? Yes, but tell us, tell everybody about it. I'll tell you what. I, I'm so proud of our, our gals because they're such – they really own – our chapter, you know, they all want to be involved. They've all got their tasks. They, they've taken ownership of it. And I think everybody was just a little nervous about the power hour, but everybody jumped in with both feet. Everybody contributed like three or four raffle items. I mean, the guests were leaving with a wheelbarrow trying to take all their guests, all their gifts out the door. They were overwhelmed and we got a bunch of new people out of that, but it was just so much fun. And we found a good venue. Uh, which I think what really helped because they were on board because they're normally closed in the evening. It's like a high end breakfast lunch place and they opened in the evening for us so that we could um, come in. Everybody ordered off the menu. I mean, there's other different ways you can do that, but uh, we had chat time and then we went through the 60 minute program flawlessly. Everybody had a job and there was, there was uh, I, I think of one woman that was there She's a Russian old believer. And she said, I was so terrified to come because I thought for sure you were going to make me stand up and talk. And she goes, I'm so glad I came. That was the best thing ever in the whole wide world. Mm -hmm. And what that did for our chapter of chicks is that now we have the confidence that we know what we're inviting people to. So I know that when we do the next one, we're going to have way more guests because we're like, oh, we, we get it now. It's almost like the first is the worst. And you just got to get through it. But it was still so good and so much fun. And everybody was so enthusiastic and so overjoyed. So um, I, I just got to give it to my group. They were amazing. I just was there for the ride and helping out. And it was, it was amazing. Oh, you shared that so passionately and eloquently. Thank you, Valerie. That was awesome. Oh, you're welcome. Did you guys yeah. see the gift table picture? Oh, my no, gosh. Gonna, there there gonna, were like 50 I'm gifts. on it later. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. So you guys, I encourage you to do a power hour because okay. they're so fun. And the, the one hour thing is a piece of cake. 
and everybody's there and eating and happy. And if there's wine like our place had, that just adds to the experience. <laughs> and everybody loosens up and has fun. And we had a, our, our fun chick, Agina, was selling raffle tickets for our uh, charity. Oh. And she was going around and stuffing the dollars in her top of her dress. And <laughs> it was just <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> Let's see if it got posted. Valor, you're an amazing leader. I want to join your chapter too. Ah, oh, thanks, Lynette. <laughs> I want to join you too. I, I'll tell you what. I just I love, love chicks. I love your I don't... energy. It's so awesome. Thanks. Awesome. It, you know what? I just got to give it to Julie because she has know, created something that I'm is a, the right place at the right time. And you know what? I always tell my chicks, keep mm. inviting friends because even yeah. if they don't come right now, Right. They're just waiting for the timing to be right. And when the timing is right for them, they're all going to come. They're all yes. going to go, this is what I was looking for right now. Yeah. So are, don't give up on inviting because right. they, they come when the time is right. And they're looking, they're looking for this. Yes, Thanks, Julie. Right. You're so right. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to Thanks. find the, um, the pictures because they were so awesome. I know you uploaded them somewhere. I didn't know if you did it in uh, the regular page or... Um, I wish I could help you, but my computer's uploading like for the last three hours or like reboot, uh, you know, doing its update. So yeah, I can't there's get on my Nilda. Computer, but... There's our selfie, Nilda. <laughs> um, so but the... another thing. Yeah, go ahead. Um, is really working on helping other chapters build. Mm -hmm. I know people all across the country in pure romance, and I've continuously been reminding them of this amazing thing that I'm a part of and that yes. there is a chapter. Now. There it is. Sorry. I'm sorry uh, about that, Christina. Christina that's there a good point. That's a whole nother talk. You're right. That's awesome. When you're, if you are in a sales awesome. team, for team. Oh my gosh, Valerie. You see, isn't it great? <laughs> there were a bazillion <laughs> gifts. That's insane. That is gorgeous. Awesome. Look at the There's mouth. a Gina. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that picture. She's so that's cute. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at her giant smile. That's <laughs> stunning. That's great. Gosh, I feel like a slacker, Julie. I'm sorry. I've never had a power. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you know, I, know I was just is. talking about that, Lynette. I, I was, was saying, I was telling everyone, oh my gosh, yeah. this Lynette girl in Arizona is such a slacker. She, you know, she won't do, she won't do a power hour. She won't go to CCIC. What, I still don't even really know what it is. I don't know that, I don't know what it is, but I'm getting the gist of it. You're getting the gist of it. Yeah. It's more of a formal meeting. So, so. Oh, I love that. I did see that picture and I, t I posted underneath <laughs> it. I, we need, you need some, can, Valor, can someone post that file in the group because all new leaders need that for their groups it's genetic. i think so i think it i, I think our least techie person put it together and okay. i think she's having trouble getting it up but that's how easy it was she basically took the logo enlarged it and wrote what was underneath yeah, you guys could we, do that that's i'll so try good. to find it okay i'll make a note okay. <laughs> okay. i don't want to make one i just want to print it it's beautiful. <laughs> i don't well, blame all you chicks, all chicks should have that julie because it's generic There's yeah no, no that looks it. good oh it's fabulous yeah. I saw that. I, I did see that, but I didn't know what it was for. Um, um, yeah, so we'd all like a copy okay, of that. I tried That's to great. swipe. I'm not even on my own phone. Julie, swipe. I'm trying to swipe. You do want me to go to the next one? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Look at these decorations. The girls went to the dollar store and, and decorated. Had They had um, centerpieces on the tables. So nice. Um, so were there a lot? Of, so your chapter was there, and then there was a lot of guests? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Good mm -hmm. job, Mama. Good job. And they, oh, oh, the thing to do as well is have a sign in and then you'll do, right. and that's all part of the packet, part of the power hour packet. Um, mm -hmm. It's all included in there so that people know what to do. We need can to you, do that. Can you go backwards to Question. where um, Sierra's, there's our oh, um, charity. That's your fundraiser. Yeah, your charity. Uh -huh. Yes, that's awesome. Stuffed animals for first responders to take you know the police oh, officers and ambulance cool. and fire department look at yeah. those look at those smile look at look at those women smiling so happy that's beautiful good job valerie yay on your power hour it was a joint group, effort truly and to your group i love but it I'll, i just want you to know it's it's easier than you think it really well, i didn't is. know if it was, it was easier. easier hard i just didn't know what it was period because i was just so wrapped up in my in our <laughs> weekly meetings and um my regular life yep uh, because, you know, we're I, women, we can do anything, but we can't do everything. Yeah. But we try. I know. And I love look this at, picture. Look at her. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So cute. Awesome. She's, 
she's from the south so she she awesome. was our timing person and she goes time's up sugar sugar that's so cute. <laughs> one of our newest chips so. <laughs> you guys did an excellent job that's beautiful yeah so yeah that's so fun yeah so oh, and perfect. and you know that who that wouldn't want to join that that brings me to another point that yes. it needs to be fun so yeah. if it's feeling heavy or weighted or mm -hmm. gosh then schedule something fun go bowling go on a hike go mm -hmm. for like i love to see um when people say oh i'm going out for a, a walk who wants to walk with me and a couple right. chicks get a cup of coffee and go for a walk mm -hmm. yep um we so like, things like that so um yeah what, we love to walk and talk all right. So what other questions do we have or ideas? I don't know, but this was a bonanza of a Zoom. <laughs> it was fantastic. And, I, and fantastic. you know how I say, what I said, sometimes you need the meeting. Sometimes the meeting needs you. I needed this. This was all good yeah. stuff. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, right. Oh, so here's the, here's the, the vision that I have. And I ran it by Beverly Wise. So Pat, are you, are you, I got to go back to your picture. Okay. So Beverly is in Idaho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she's, a, she's a very close friend. Yeah, Aww. Beverly and then Teresa and Pat. So they're all up in Idaho. Okay. And um, either 2019 or 2020, one or the other, I would like to do our Chicks Connect Inspiration Celebration in Idaho and, oh. and mm -hmm. or in Arizona. Awesome. So, um, so yeah, well, we could do uh, summer in I Idaho have one request. and winter in Arizona. Wait, what's Val's request? My request, request is that you, if you do it in the winter, let us go to Arizona, please, from Oregon, please. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, so that's what I'm thinking. We go, to, we go to Arizona in the winter in like January, maybe. Or yes. What, what's, when is it really hard to be in Portland in, um, like, when does it start, you know, getting depressing? February, uh, after February. Christmas, like February, March is really depressing. February. It's so, like so all like the holidays February. are over and it's not spring yet. Yeah. yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, so February <laughs> in Arizona and maybe um, 4th of July in yeah. Idaho, like around that time. Oh, yeah, that's a great Idaho. idea. That would be beautiful. So just kind of keep those on the radar. And we, okay. you don't have to, it doesn't, you know. It doesn't even matter if Arizona people don't plan it because people show up for the committee. I always somehow get volunteers for the committees. Of course um, you do. And then people do their part and it all kind of comes together. And so um, it'll all happen. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. So unless you guys are opposed to it somehow, um, I'm thinking oh, 2019. Think because uh, 2018, we have this one right here that's going to be in Clackamas, Oregon on the two days and then Salem, Oregon on the day of fun at Dr. Robbins College. So okay. we're, we get to use her room. We're going to play bunco, maybe do some vision <laughs> boards and some other fun stuff on the day of fun. Um, and then in June, we will be in Sandy, Oregon at, uh, at a retreat center. So this, that's actually an overnight and we need breakout speakers and all that. It's a different type mm. thing. That's our... Our CCIC is in June. This one is uh, a workshop. So this one's actually nice. going to be a lot of planning and implementing and collaborating together with yeah. one another and using the power of each other to build uh, personally and build professionally. So that and that's um, the one in January. Yes, this one coming. Up? Okay. Yeah, eleven yes, twelve. Reading my mind as to what I needed. Tell me what you need, Robin. Tell me specifically exactly. what you need. What we're going to be doing in January. You were reading my mind. You're like, okay, oh. I have to give it to Robin because she's just not getting it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's why I was raising my hand too. I was like, tell me a little more about that. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know if you read the actual, um, let's see if I can go back to that. I hate to do this, but I've got to go. I've got Are to you jumping of off? I have to be out of here in a half hour heading out. Meet again. Oh, nice to meet you, Pat. Good, Good to see you, Pat. Oh, this has Good been awesome. You. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Bye. I too have to leave the meeting, but thank you so much. It was wonderful. Are we wonderful? You Hopefully, again. did we get uh, you. your questions answered, or is there anything more you want yes. to know? Okay. Well, I'm I'm certainly going to dig further, but I've got a good start, I believe. Okay, Yay. perfect, awesome. perfect. Yay. All right. Julie, can so, you just say a little a bit day. more about the January event? I'm going to tell you a Give lot me more, more right me. here. Okay, yep. awesome. Right here. So um, essentially, it's called the power of chicks. So P-O-W-E-R. And the power of chicks means the power of all of us together, right? But when you take that little word and make it an acronym, which I love to do because I was a teacher. Um, are you leaving, bud? 
Okay, I love you. Have fun. Be safe. Um, my son's going off to Disney with his friends. Isn't that oh, fun? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the power of people. So we're going to do um, some activities that are based around a support team, power partners, affiliates, potential clients, current clients, and network. So all of these will be activities um, that will increase um, how to not how to use people, but how to leverage people within your life and business. Um, the power of organization. So how to create systems, routines, and organization of time and space. Nice. Um, so that's the power of organization. Then the power of wonderful content. So today in the online world of everything, you're, you, it's hard to be heard. And so we're going to talk about how to have your message stand out, how to have your memes, your content themes, your content memes, collaborative content, shared content. So if someone, uh, like right now, if someone is an expert on health and wellness and I wanted to share something about health and wellness with my community, it doesn't mean I have to write the article. I could use the power of the people within my organization and find out who are our experts in here that know about health and wellness and I can share their content with just a little paragraph of my own two cents about what I thought about the article or whatever. So we'll, we'll do, um, you know, how we're going to develop a, a kind of a, a structure for our own content and then, um, how we can collaborate by using one another's content, whether those be Facebook lives, YouTube videos, blogs, um, memes, graphics, things like that. Uh, the power of expression. So how do you want to then express that content? Um, what are you going to use for social media? The, the avenues that we have are Chicks Chat Radio, Chicks TV, uh, blogs, and YouTube. And then getting really gearing up more of the Chicks TV to get, um, chicks interviewing chicks and and you as we can have as many hosts as we want and with you being a host if you interview two or three people a month and every host interviews two or three people a month it's getting people out there as hosts and as people being interviewed yes. um, and then we can be interviewed anytime we launch something new anytime we have a new product we want to share anytime we have a new service anytime we have a special anytime we had a revelation um, and then we can help one another by getting the word out so um, power of expression and then the power of rewards so this is kind of um, you know your internal rewards so your intrinsic your happiness um, and then how to create abundance and wealth and multiple streams of income so those are the pieces that we'll be working on as we build this roadmap for 2018 for your business. So, um, and it'll be very collaborative, interactive, and really um, using one another to formulate this plan. Because the experts are all in the room. We're just going to pull it out of you. So I'll be facilitating that. I won't be um, necessarily up there teaching, talking at you the whole two days. Mm -hmm. It won't be like that. It'll be here's what we're doing now, let's work together and let's fill this out and let's collaborate and let's share and let's grow and expand and where are we stuck? How can we move forward? So that's the beauty um, of a mastermind, everyone yeah. working together. So awesome. Yeah. And then the day of fun will be in Salem, Oregon. And so right now members pay uh, $74.25 and that's for four meals. Well, the two full days, four meals and a professional photo by Val. Woo Yay. <laughs> so, and then if you refer someone that's not a member and they pay the 148.50, um, you make $25 for each referral as the referral partner. And the link is in your office, your referral office. That's so amazing, Julie. That is what's happening with that. And then, uh, oh, oh, and people have always asked to be vendors. Um, and so we have $50 vendor tables per day and we're going to do a, um, each vendor will have a two minute, um, blurb that they can introduce themselves and their special that they're having at their table. And then we're going to have a specific vendor shuffle. So during the day, everyone will go around to each vendor table, learn, look at the products and services, get a little stamp on their card that'll then be entered into a drawing for a raffle prize oh, um, to cool. ensure that everybody goes to everybody's table and sees what's up. So, cool. so that, that is what's coming up in January and we would love more people to attend that and people that are coming from out of town. We have uh, people that are willing to put you up or share hotel rooms 
and um, Julie, our, how much was it for our guests? If you bring a guest in, how much is their cost for the event? Uh, the guest is one forty eight fifty until January um, first, and members is for seventy four twenty five. Yeah, and includes okay. two breakfast on both days, lunch on both days, and we'll be finished before dinner. So we'll finish at about six. That's pretty good because that's about what I charge for one headshot. So. If they only come and get the headshot, they've got, you know, wow. that much value. And then and actually I, I charge more actually. So yeah, but, <laughs> right. And but yeah, and then they get yeah. meals and they get all the activities. Yeah. And that's, that's really a good value. Yeah. And we have swag bags. I just ordered the swag bags. We're going to do a lime green logo this time. I know some of you have the pink logo, so we're going to go for lime green logo this time. And so you can all bring stuff to put in the swag bags. Um, I'll be selling the decals, the Chicks Connect decals. I just had a bunch of those ordered and made. Um, so those will be on, say, I think they're 10 bucks or something for the color decals. Uh, and then I'm also ordering some journals, and those will be on sale. Not everybody likes a journal or they have spent – anyway, so they'll have the Chicks Connect emblem imprinted. Um, I'll probably sell those for five bucks or something. So there will be some things that if you want to buy there, and then we encourage people to buy stuff from the vendors that are there. Um, yeah, yeah, Nelda. Um, how close is the the venue for for the first part of the meeting, and then the venue for the second part? Uh, there, it's about thirty six miles away. So I would drive you. Uh, we'll carpool. We'll, you know, anybody who needs to get out to Salem, we'll get you there. Okay. Um, if somebody needs a ride, so. So I I don't need to rent a car. No, no, there's a, um, there's actually a hotel that shares a parking lot um, with the uh, facility. And then if you stay there, if you stay at that hotel and share a room, we could get you, or if you're staying at one of the chicks houses, they could probably take you when they go out. So okay. uh, yeah, but we always work out carpool and um, that's what chicks do. They figure it out. That's what chicks do. <laughs> and Nilda, what you could do is bring us some sunshine. <laughs> we'll, we'll be hungry for it then for sure <laughs> and i don't i don't know how i'm gonna dress for that weather <laughs> <laughs> well and then uh you know that 2020 we'll have to do uh florida ccic oh, yes yeah. how about that for a big goal that's when i turn 50 too so oh, yeah. wow yeah mickey mouse will be waiting for you there we go <laughs> there we go <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so what other questions do we have or support that you all need that we can help with? This has been great. Yeah, it's I've been really a, awesome. I've got an abundance of feedback and, and right. things to do, and it's almost overwhelming, but it's not because I can do this. I'm, I'm good at it when I'm on. <laughs> so I'm going to implement almost everything that people have talked about. I know, Robin, you're right. This was a meaty Zoom, darn. Yeah, definitely. You guys this brought the meat good. and potatoes well, today. Well, I have to tell you what happened Valerie, last Christine. Okay, so, yeah. so think about this, Lynette. Here is a good testimonial right here, Robin. You said last meeting that we were on, last Zoom that we were on, Robin said, well, I have the Rebel Chicks on Friday. Lynette's like, ooh, an online What's chapter. That? <laughs> that sounds cool. Okay, remember that? Okay, yeah. seven referrals later, she has I her online the next chat. day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so these ideas that happen. And hold on, on these a minute. Things. And and yeah. from the bot, from the rebel chicks came the boss online chicks, and one of the ones that joined started her chapter today. The chicks with peeps. From what a that, chain of events. Yeah. So from the that, last yeah. time that we were all on a Zoom oh, together, right. that is what has it happened. Started all that yeah. little domino effect, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I need to do yeah. these more often. I better no do kidding, one next this week. One, I know. I don't know. This <laughs> one, but I'm like Robin. This one is juicy. I need a moment to process and implement. Yes. Yeah. I mean, come on. This is the amazing chicks you have on here sharing all this good exactly. stuff. Sheesh. Mm. And I do so. have an ask. I want you all to send okay. out vibes to the hair gods that my hair grows back in a okay. month. This was okay. a communication between a hairstylist <laughs> and me. Well... Well, it'll Me grow too. back. It'll grow. Yes, yeah. but I want it back before Val takes pictures. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Well, keep going. I'm pretty good on Photoshop, but I don't know about that. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, hair is everything. If the hair's bad, oh. we're not my happy. Hair, my hair is my nemesis. Oh, oh my <laughs> right? 
Yes. It'll grow back, Robin. Hang in there. there you I have a gallon. It's even too short to pretend that it's long and look at that. <laughs> you can't even do that. So. <laughs> you look great, Robin. You look great. It's your smile that's everything. You look great. <laughs> you. Stop. Am Christina, I what were you yeah. saying? What were you saying? Oh, I, have a, I have a girl in my chapter who does hair extensions. So she made oh. me some custom ones. I've got to go try on because, yeah, I hate my haircut. <laughs> there you go. You know, I always tell my chicks every, every Friday when we talk, who do you want in this group? Who do you want to do business with that you need in this group? Yes. We need hair extensions. We need eyelash extensions. That's what I we say, need, Val, too. You know, I do we too. need a good hairstylist. We except, need these things in our okay, group. Okay, Val, I love you. Except for my priorities must be screwed up because this is what I say. We got to get that caramel lady that makes homemade caramels and Queen Creek. We also need that <laughs> cupcake bake. <laughs> and they're like, stop. I always want the bakers. <laughs> okay, I'm with you on that. I am. Yeah. I am. I'm like, we need the tamale lady. I want all the like food yes. vendors. I'm like, why not stop? <laughs> They're all trying to lose lady. weight. They're all trying to lose weight. I'm trying to bring all the food vendors. Yep. I want to get the main lobster truck lady in my chapter. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm going to feel so guilty now when I tell him Val's looking for eyelashes and hair extensions and I'm um. trying to get tacos and donuts. <laughs> Oh, too funny. And Starbucks, you know what? right? We Let's, need Starbucks. Starbucks yeah. persons. Mm -hmm. A dairy so we could have fresh butter, you know, right. Right. all that good stuff. Right. Yeah, I'm going to reassess my goals now. <laughs> yeah, if you target. sign up for chicks, you have to give your fellow chicks discounts. That's all right, there is yeah. to it. Yeah, I need a new target, a new target audience. <laughs> Ooh, I got to go right, too. Well, I, so. have to, I have to get to another call. Um, all right. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh. Thanks for being thanks, here. Thanks everybody. Yeah, nice I'm all meeting you. all of you. See okay. you next time. Okay, Pleasure okay, to bye. see all of you. Yay. <laughs> Let me know if anybody has questions. I'll hang on in case anybody does. So Julie, I just want to tell you some good news. Yes. Um, I haven't really told a whole lot of people yet, but uh, we are selling our house and buying an RV. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I, but am I, I, so are we losing the Ben chapter? Uh, no, we're okay. going to hang out here at least until the end of the school year. And uh, Michelle will take over when I'm done, um, when I decide to, to hit the road. But uh, yeah, so we have, we have a huge chunk of equity in our house and I'll be able to be debt free within a year. Yay! Woo! That's oh fantastic. My gosh. Probably own another house outright over in the Valley. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And yeah. you are uh, going to start traveling? I'm not sure yet. We might um, we might hang on. I did just put Kale in public school. Okay. I kind of gave up the homeschooling. He was um, two grades ahead, so I got a little overboard. He needs to he needs to chill out. <laughs> um, so we're not sure. We know that we're gonna list the house by January and buy an RV and probably hang out here till the end of the school year and decide from there. Oh my gosh. That's How exciting. exciting. Debt free. Yay. Yes. That is awesome. Well, congratulations. That's exciting. So yeah. All right. I got lots of stuff I'm going to get going on. Yes. Thank you. This was great. Yes. Yes. And let me know what I can do to support you and help you in any way. I definitely will just, um, Anything I can do. And um, Robin, post your online chapter meetings right on my Facebook wall if you want to. Um, okay. You know, and invite people that way too. And um, anything else I can do. Mwah. Yes. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Congratulations, Christina. That's exciting. Thank you.